I thought God got tired of us and he wanted to finish us. When I think of it back, it was so bad anyway. Can you even think of, can you even regret why you were born? Why you were born? No, I want to have now again wearing clothes and uh, feeling very happy and so. Anyway, everything has an end. Has an end. The people have, have hope in me. So it will be bad for me to fail them. How are you guys? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Oli. I'm Serena. I'm Dia. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Lila. And I'm Delaney. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School's Teen Press here with John Dow. Nice to see you, John Dow. Thank you. You talked about how everyone has a story and the portents of these stories. Could you explain that again so our friends can hear it? Well, I, you know, I think every human being ha has a story. What I mean by a story in your life, in your family, uh, you might have an a, a issue that maybe your dad went through or a situation your mom went through or maybe what you also went through. Uh, what, what do I mean by went through, mean suffering, you know, your, your family were not able to, you know, live in a big house, they live in very small and maybe have no enough food and or, you know, situation where maybe some of you might, you know, are now being raised by maybe a mom or a dad or maybe some of you actually uh, adopted, live with the foster parents or other guidance, and so, so these are stories that I'm talking about. Yeah, these are stories that I'm talking about, and uh, and they, they they like my story. I suffered when I was 12 years old. I never had a support from anybody because my village was attacked, and my parents and my brothers and sisters and my dad took their own directions, and I was separated from them. From then I, I will, you know, be able, you know, was on my own, taking care of myself, not only just me, but also taking care of other boys who need help at that time. So, situation that never had something to eat, I never knew whether I'm gonna be eaten by other wild animal in the forest, didn't know where I was going, uh, thirst, seeing people uh, dying here and there, you know, never know that will be me next to die. So that is my story, a story uh, of, uh, you know, of, 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 of suffering. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe those who are listening to this interview may have stories as well. And so all of us have stories. The question I asked today is that, okay, so if you have a story, what are you going to do with that story? To me, as my advice, I said, use that story in a good way. How, how, how do you use that in a good way? You suffer, maybe work hard so that other people cannot suffer. You know? You try to help those with the relationship. For example, maybe parent divorce and children kind of between two people and maybe you can you we help also other relationships that are still there so the children cannot suffer can we also work hard so that those who lost job can find job you know we can help our neighbors 
those who need help, you know, those who need a place to stay, a place that they call home. Can we also help those other children that cannot find school, that were not able to go to school, maybe attempted to join again, you know, can we help those people come back and be good people, change the life of them, and maybe help their country by becoming politicians, change, change life in their neighborhood by cleaning things, you know, support elderly, support those who need help, those who are disabled. That's a kind of a, a work that I, I am talking about. If you have a story, make use of it now. So that's, the, 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 that's why I was saying everybody have a story. But a story that you have, you must turn into a good thing so that you can help other people. So other people cannot go through what you went through. That's what I'm talking about. And that's, I, I think, we love to talk to young people who actually are growing because the future belong to them. Uh, the, the, you know, they still have many years to come. Sometime, when you come to my age, or to other, you know, adult age, you know what we always say? We say, if I knew when I was young, I would have done this. If I knew when I was 14 years old, from 10 years old, whatever, you know, how young I was. We say, I wish I knew I would have started early. I would have started doing this for myself, for my family. So here you are. You guys are young, and it is right time for you to start. To start what? To start helping yourself, go to school, work hard, be able to help other people. That's what I'm talking about. So that's the, those kind of uh, story that I'm talking about, that you must help other people right now. Use your story to advance, to help your community, Where, wherever you are. Community is your school, community is your neighborhood, community is your county, community is your state. Or community is the United States of America or the whole world. It's your community. Thank you. So you have been through so much and you're such a big man, yet you can still cry. What are some things that um, make you cry? You know, I, yeah, I, um, I'm a big man, at, but sometimes I break down sometimes. Why and how? And that's what you ask. Sometimes I break down for what is called the tears of joys. The tears, the, the tears of joy is that when I see other people helping others, when I see other people maybe have no help, when I see this little young boy have no food, or this young little girl have no love, no caring. I just feel very bad. I feel really, I mean, I break down because, as I, you know, I said, maybe that's, you know, it was almost the same situation I was in, and it's still going on. So, you know, I, 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 when I see suffering going on, and those suffering could be, could be resolved. We human beings create suffering. Why can we re resolve those problems? Suffering must be stopped. So I feel really bad when I see people suffer. I feel really bad when I see people uh, going through things that could be easily resolved and stopped. Sometimes I also break down because I, I have no power to help. You know, I want to help, very much want to help, but if I can't find it, if I have no way, resources to, to help that situation, I just feel so helpless. You know, so yes, it's a moment of human being. So as a human, you just you break down. But let's not just break down and just cry and stop and not doing anything. Let's break down and see where we break down, see where we broke down and then fix it. We can, we can fix it. We are able, we are human being, we have power, we can fix it. Thank you. In God Grew Tired of Us, you talked about your height and your responsibility to be a leader. Where did you learn that? 
you know, there is something to do with height too. You know, height help you will be seen far away. You become a present. A present, your height, my bones. You know, I think there's a reason why God gave me bones, long bones, tall bones. So I can use it, can be present. Uh, you know, it helped other people who are following me. It assured them that everything is in control. You know, I am in control. So that helped. And so, so I'm, I'm using everything that I have, everything God gave me including my height, to say, well, the thing we, the, the, that, that I'm tall did not just come for, for nothing. I think there's something I got to use for it. And that's why I fly to all of you too. You have something in, in you that you could use to also help advance what you want to do. Use your hands. Use your eyes. Use your uh, brain. Use everything you have. See, I'm not talking about being tall and then you can do things as tall. No, you can be as short as, as who, but use things that are given to you by God. Your hand, your leg, your ability, everything. Your uh, articulate, the way you articulate things. That's a power given to you. My power maybe is being tall. Your power maybe you are good brain, smart children. You have a good heart. Use that good heart, you know. Use those, your love. Use it too. You can help other people with it. So it's not just being tall that I'm talking about. It is that whatever given to you by God, you create it. Don't, don't say, well, I can't do this because I'm not here. No. Or you can say, I can't do it because I'm not tall as John. No. You have what it takes to help, to, to, to do your work. So I need to discourage, well, being tall, then you can do things. No. Being short is very important because you have other way to do it. You know, other way to do things. So yes, and that's why we're talking about. I just pick out what I have and I said, I'm going to use this. You also pick out what you have, what you know you have, use that to help others.